When you're solo in Rust, timing can be your best friend or your greatest enemy. And on this adventure, I'd test that theory to its absolute limit. As I wouldn't only become the arch nemesis of the biggest group on the server, I'd also grind my little solo ass off and try to raid them. <laughs> It's another fresh white man. I'm keen, we're playing solo today. Let's get into it. I actually had a pretty productive force wipe on this server. So I have every single BP that I'm gonna need. So it's gonna set us up pretty well. So look at this map. All right, well, I'm gonna head to the snow. Let's make sure I get enough cloth on the way. Should we get a bow actually, that way I can kill a like kill a bear, get some clothing. See, so yeah, I get a pretty cool like little base design planned for today. Dude, might even kill this bear while I'm here. Let's go, man. That's huge. Okay, so let's have another look at this map. I think we'll go like up here somewhere. We could use satellite, to be honest. Like, satellite is a pretty good monument. We got train close by. I think that will work well for us. Let's get the bag down in case I die. So yeah, we're gonna try and use satellite to uh, pretty much progress today. Like, I, I have the blueprints I need, so we're not gonna need a crazy amount of scrap, but to be honest, like, satellite's a pretty underrated monument now. Ever since they changed it, like, ever since they made it the same as PC, you can, you can really progress using only satellite as a monument. Ooh, solar panel. Okay, we're gonna start farming. There's already a dude around. Gonna head this way. And there's so many nodes out here, it's crazy. Yeah, this actually isn't a bad little spot here. Might end up being a bit spicy, but that's alright. Nice. Okay. Let's do a bit more farming. question. I think I'm gonna make a tier one. That way I can make some good tools for farming. <laughs> uh, 
Hell yeah, dude. I'd been lucky and scored a spawn as close to my build location as physically possible. That being in the snow, with the plan to use satellite as my primary monument. After farming some starter resources and doing some recycling at the satellite dish, I had a starter base and a tier 1 workbench down after only 15 minutes on the server. It's such a good feeling when you have BPs and you can just like keep most of the uh, things that you gather, like most of the comps that you get. I need to try and score a green card too. I'm not sure the best place around here to get one's going to be. God, holy sewing kits. Outpost is so far away, dude. Come on, Jackie. Did you imagine? Yeah, it's too good. Man, satellite is actually so good. You guys been sleeping on satellite dish? <laughs> but hey, I don't blame you. Like, it was trash before. Hey, the metal hatchet, let's go. Man, the nodes out here are crazy. Where's outpost? Getting a jackie would be so huge, but it's so far away. <laughs> it's so far away. It's like the opposite side of the map. It's insane, there's so many freaking nodes. After seeing how many nodes there were in my area, I did a quick farm and then decided that making the long trip to Outpost for a jackhammer would definitely be worth my while. Alright, we we'll check out this abandoned supermarket. Oh, is that a horse? <laughs> That's a horse, no way. Just a free horse. <laughs> Yes, no way. There was no way that was there. <laughs> That's so lucky. Oh man. Let's go. And the savage pick. Ah, oh, that is so huge. This horse is so slow. I'm not even going to be sad if it dies. Oh, nice, man. Okay, if we can do another, like, good run here at satellite and do the green card puzzle if it isn't taken, that's probably going to be enough scrap for a tier 2. It had been an incredible start, and I was no stranger to the fact that all incredible runs must eventually come to an end. Shit.
How's he not dead? Fuck's sake. I did not die, man. Fuck. Now oh, you stop. Stop. Oh my god, they would have been so loaded too. Loaded, he had 160 scrap. Definitely depoting coming back. Ah, let's fucking go, dude. No way. I gotta expand so fast. Man, I can't see them back here yet. Scylla and Sanguita. Ah, oh, this huge man. Hey, we are not messing around. I'm making this tier 2. It's, it's crazy, that was like those guys start. I don't think they had a base yet. After a huge win against this duo at Satellite, I put down a tier 2 workbench and thought it'd be a good idea to expand my base. Oh my god, man. This is so dicey. duo tried to restart. It's so satisfying beating duos, man. It was close though, like, I had to go back with just a bow. <laughs> I don't know how I won that. And I wasn't recording, but I put an airlock on here, on the front. And I was just thinking, like, whether I use this as a, like, a suicide bunker? Nah, like, I guess if I metal it all up, have at least a couple garage doors, like, here and here. It's fit, like, it's not cheap to raid, at least, like, eight rockets. It's crazy how fast you can progress when you have BPs. Like, we've already got chainsaw out. Got the large furnace down. Like, it's kind of crazy. There's something fun about the grind too though, you know, like to get to that point. Oh, how's the timing? It's 
be a little like farm loot room in here. For the next little while, I did some upgrades to my starter base, and then I heard the scientists shooting at train yard, so I went to investigate. So that's the scientists that train yard. <laughs> so I can actually hear when people are taking puzzle. That's insane. <laughs> that's so good. I'm just gonna send it because they might be low. Sounds like they're taking a while to kill them. It would be rude not to. <laughs> Man, he's killed them all. Yeah, he just forgot the first one. Damn, that's some nice crates. Just get me out of here, please. Ah, oh, that SMG body is huge. Well, I tell you what, it's been a pretty, like, pretty good, productive morning. Only a couple hours in, and we are, like, loaded. Oh my god. What is this run? After a pretty insane start to my solo wipe, I managed to sheet metal my furnace base, and then I took a much needed break. And in the short time I was gone, I'd end up scoring some new neighbors. Yeah man, we are not getting raided. Before I get back anyway. Alright dude, I'll see you guys in a bit. couple hours surely we are safe yeah boy ah what a good like what a good wipe morning oh dude we are rolling let's keep these furnaces going today Okay, someone's doing train. I really should make a weapon. But we'll go... Go crossy nail gun. Oh shit, yeah, okay. That ain't good. It's like a freaking clan building right next to me. So yeah, we're gonna have to focus on farming. We're gonna get the main base down. And upgraded like ASAP. And these guys are struggling to kill these scientists. TB. They gotta be low, surely. What? What the fuck? Man, that is a crazy angle. Hey, where's this DB? No. That's my neighbors too. Fuck. Well, I think it is. He's heading back that way. Well, they already know where I live, so I'm just gonna run back.
<laughs> I get absolutely wrecked. Oh man, I gotta build this main base so fast. Fuck, I know these guys. These guys early game raided me like a few wipes ago. I think they're I think they're only a duo, so I'm okay with that. But I gotta I gotta make some progress, man. We gotta gotta get our main base sorted. I'm gonna make a gun. I do have an SMG buddy, so we are going to utilize that. I miss my opportunity to expand here and they come and like grief me or something I'm gonna be so sad so I'm just gonna stick to the plan okay, it's gone daytime so we're gonna head back to base I still want to go back at nighttime because like if they're door camping I won't be able to see them just make sure they're not sitting at my door Well, I might start putting down like the foundations of the main base. I think I know what kind of design I want to do. It was time to start the build on my main base. With a new group only meters from my front door, it was more important now than ever to have a more defendable option. My plan was to use the furnace base as an external tool cupboard for the main, and I didn't want to get grubbed while trying to work out how to do that, so I depoted the Tommy and went out as a naked. What I thought. So this is where you're like, alright. I'll be back. So this is where you live, right? So this is where you live, right? Fuck up, man. I guess he lives there. So this is where you live, I. I. <laughs> All right, so that's like a trio. I assume if the edge bra dude is from there too, we gotta we gotta expand. Nice. 
Then yeah, we gotta go hit some comps or something. Oh my god. He's fucking loaded, man. What the hell? Recycle a bit of cloth and we are out of here. After that, I went to run the train puzzle again, but this time there was a gear duo there and I died. Fuck me. I didn't have any more SMG bodies, so rather than going back under equipped and donating another kit, I went out to farm some wood for the main base. Well, that was the plan, but I'd soon realise what kind of players my neighbours were. What a fucking little puss. Well, I know, like, who my primary raid target is right now. I should really give him a taste of his own medicine and like try and go deep on him. But I don't want to get too like distracted. They'd literally spent more time at my front door than they had at their own base. But after this death, I noticed that this matchstick guy rage quit. So I got back to farming. Does this kid even play the game? Or does he just door camp and then rage quit for a bit? <laughs> and then come back and door camp some more. Do a little loop around this island. I just wanna, like the peninsula here. Just wanna see if I can find a, an animal. If I can get a bear, I think that's pretty much enough low grade to get me an oil refinery. Well, I do not see any animals. Any door campers? All right, let's go for a little roam and yeah, we'll hit some comps and uh, try and get up low grade. So I just need... Uh, 150 low grade is what we're after. And maybe we'll come back, like, maybe we'll try and come back with a horse. If there was an oil refinery here, this monument would be, like, one of the best monuments for a solo, definitely. Like, it already is, but if there was a refinery here, oh man, that's bare though. This area is so cool. Ah, oh, look out. Look at this view, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. But man, that would be a really nice place to live. Maybe if my, uh, if my neighbors become too much of a nuisance before I expand too much. Oh, yeah, we get a dude putting down a bunker down here by the looks of it oh I can craft flamer just a solo oh I can make a flamer once we get this refinery we might do that Gotta hope that it fits. It's got to, because like, furnace is as close into that corner as it can go. Ooh, why are they so hard to place? No. Unless we broke the large furnace, placed it, and then hope for the best. I'm gonna do that. I'm actually, gonna do that. Yeah, there's no way a furnace is fitting around that. What the hell? I swear you can fit them. Maybe I'm thinking about a three by like a two square foundation in the middle. After cooking up all my crude, I decided a large furnace base was more valuable to me than a refinery. So I destroyed the refinery and then this game, man. Like, why is that a thing? Oh, 
I guess this can be like a little farm base. We just we just don't have a large furnace base anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I did now have what I needed to make a flamethrower, so I headed back to the bunker base where I'd noticed a wooden triangle on the roof. Uh, imagine if it was all open. <laughs> it's very unlikely, but you never know. I feel like people on weeklies, like, don't expect to be raided on WAP day. I think he's got a god bunker in here. Yeah, so TC must be opposite, opposite that door in the bottom triangle. Do I have enough to make 10 satchels? I might actually have enough to make 10 satchels. Ugh, I hate saturating so much. So that's eight. Yeah, so give me 11 statues. Perfect. Alright. Good luck. Have a great time. Have a great time. This could be huge. Because I feel like this guy's been on since Breshwa. Which is quite a long time now. Like, I don't know, 5 hours or something. So I feel like he's going to be loaded. Getting ready to expand his base. Doesn't look like he's upgraded. Good statues. Is it even unlocked? Fuck, I didn't check.
Holy shit. He's loaded, man. Why is he not trying to fire? Oh my god, dude. Man, he was loaded. Like, when you have like 3k GP, it's more than I expected. That's pretty much like what I spent on it, I think. Alright, let's get out of here. So weird that they didn't like try and fight. They had at least a crossy. What do you got to lose? Man, those satchels for once were actually decent. I swear every time I use satchels they take like an hour to go off. Guys, get to say. Why would you raid me? I mean, you were kind of looted. I literally haven't killed anyone this a lot. Yeah, uh, well, shit happens, I guess. I guess it'll happen with the raw rockets coming off a later tonight. Then I'm scared, mate. I've run the server four wipes in a row. I've run the server, he says. Fuck me, you're cringe. Not now, I don't, because my team ain't on, but I have for the last four wipes. You're cringe, bro. Ask anyone who was on last wipe who run the server. Chicken, just kidding. See you later, buddy. I'll, I'll get him later. Not for long. <laughs> Fuck it up. It's so cringe, man. Jesus. After a successful raid and some friendly conversation with the locals, I connected my furnace base to a gatehouse for my compound and did some more honeycombing. My door camping neighbours hadn't shown their face for a while, and to be honest, I had kind of forgotten about them. Shortly after, I heard the scientists shooting at train yard again, so I went to investigate. Did we go to that? We can't go to that. So they should be pretty close, if not already looting blue room. Unless they're massive potatoes. <laughs>
Keep your middle low. <laughs> oh, there's a crate here. What the hell? Ten minutes, no way. Can we depot and come back? Oh man, he just split out. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you realize I was countering crate. Hey, that's solid. I'll take a few pythons. I would have thought at this stage of the day there'd be more heavily geared players here, but there is still 10 minutes to go. Okay, we got someone else. Let's see, you got it's a Nike right now. Armador, Spaz. I mean, Spaz, yeah, whatever. But Armador, <laughs> not bad. Two metal face masks is pretty good. By this stage of wipe day, I'd put in a number of hours without a real break, but before doing that, I wanted to increase the door path to my bunker, so I expanded my base to the second story and put down as many garage doors as I could afford. Then I went out for a big farm run to keep my furnaces running and logged off for about three hours. And when I returned, it's been like three hours or something, three or four hours. No fucking way. Oh wait, was that the raid base or...? No way, that was my main base. No way, dude. Uh. Holy... My god, they got like nothing. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I got, I got a seal, they might be coming back. Oh my god, man. I thought it was over. <laughs> I couldn't remember where I like logged off. I thought I logged off in core. I'd absolutely dodged a bullet. Before logging off, I'd moved all of my best loot into my core and sealed the bunker with high quality metal. But this near miss gave me the push that I needed to focus on finishing my base. I wonder if they just decided it wasn't worth. Oh no. Yeah, that's gonna be a gate. Nah, that's good. That's good. That's gonna be a gate. That's perfect though. Yes. <laughs> 
Go the right way. Let's go. What a nice little compound. So good, man. Oh, shit. Oh, no one's got it. I got a dude chasing me, though. sprint man just gonna peek this hill and then Uh, that guy was not expecting the little peak over the hill, like, at all. Like, I don't know why he wasn't expecting it, but... Oh shit, 150 scrap, I didn't even see that. Nice. So that's kind of like honeycomb, so if they raid through the side, they still have to go through that sheet metal to get in. It's the morning of day two. Who knows, man? Who knows if we survive the night? It could go either way. Hey. <laughs> yes. A horse is even alive? What? Ah, oh, it's gonna be such a good day, man. They survive too. <laughs> oh, we got a farmer. Oh, shit. Someone raided my compound. Wait, so someone blew into my compound and didn't take my horse. What? That is very surprising. After waking up to an unrated base on day two of this wipe, I spent some time building a simple shooting floor and then sold fertilizer for scrap at bandit camp while I was doing some editing. After spending a long time selling fertilizer, <laughs> I am going to treat myself. Since I had all the BPs I needed, I spent most of it on LRs while saving enough for a tier 3 workbench once I had enough high quality. <laughs> Man, fertilizer is such a like crazy like exploit. It's pretty much an exploit. Okay, let's try and make it home. Still have sleeping bags, which is a good sign.
<sighs> so good, man. <laughs> we got LRs for days. And enough for a tier 3, I just need the high call now. It's funny, ever since the last time my neighbors door camped me, I hadn't seen them, and I even thought they'd left the server. It was great, I'd had the opportunity to farm, expand my base, and get pretty loaded as there wasn't a whole lot of competition in my area. After popping an ore tee and going out for a farm run, I had the high qual that I needed to craft a tier 3 workbench, and I'd noticed a 2x1 base on my travels. I should probably raid that little base down there to be honest. Might be loaded. Hey, let's go, tier three. Um, all right, so we need roughly like 200 explode, a little bit more, but we'll account for like three sheet metal doors. So I crafted up some exploit ammo and went to check it out. And that's when I noticed my neighbors were back online. All right, maybe we should take a pause. Oh fuck, he's online. Quite a bit of salt in there. There's no way those guys didn't hear that. It's crazy. That's a good little raid. <laughs> hey, come back here. Oh my god. I didn't realize there was that much there. Yeah, so worth it. And there's only two doors. My neighbors didn't counter my raid, which I'm sure they would have heard, but very shortly after, they were back to door camping my base. Hell man, these guys have been on for five minutes and they're already door camping again. bags around my base. I this time I gave these guys a taste of their own medicine. Did a bit of a door camp of my own. After seeing yet another name to add to this group, I thought it'd be a good idea to stop these guys from expanding, so I decided to grief them. Normally I'd feel bad about doing something like this, but they'd been pests since I joined the server. 
I also placed the TC in a position where I could eventually use it to set up a raid base. Now to go back with the stone. I thought it was weird that these guys weren't making sure I didn't seal the TC into something stronger than wood. But when I returned to my base, I'd realize why. Doesn't matter, I already got a compound. Once things had quietened down around my base, I wanted to raid a few other small bases I'd seen deep in the snow, especially after getting so much profit from the last base. Surely these bases out here have like a shit ton of farm. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man, these guys are farmers. <laughs> Sorry, buddies. I assume that 2 by one like, next to this is raided already. But it might be worth going through that sheet door. I mean, we just profited so much on this base. We might as well. Yeah, I feel like this might already be raided, but it could have just had a wooden door on the front. So I think we check this door out. Shoddy trap. Is it loaded? I not die. <laughs> Fucking dog. Yeah, I reckon that going through that garage door is probably worth. There was um, sulfur in the furnaces. That was the plan, but once I depoted some loot back at base, I heard an eco raid close by. So knowing it was likely my neighbors, I went to throw a spanner in the works. Some grubs raiding, I think. I didn't even know there was a base down here. Yeah, 
stupid, stupid push. Ah, oh, it's the same f guy. This guy's going to door camp my base. Yeah, we're not going back to base, buddy. Yeah, I don't know how many people in this group. <laughs> Five satchels, that's like... <laughs> is that enough to raid this base? <laughs> right through this garage door. We've got five satchels, seven satchels, and 47 explode. Surely that's enough, right? Why was it sideways, but dude? Like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Why was the wall sideways? Oh my god. How is he, how is he so blind to that? That is crazy. <laughs> Surely his teammates were like, oh yeah, that guy's chasing you with an LR. Oh shit. It's 
Let's pull up behind this hill. Pick it up. <laughs> oh man, they are gonna raid me so bad. I had PvP'd this team on and off for the best part of the last hour, and after stealing some satchels from them, getting some kits back, and griefing their base, it was only a matter of time before they used their numbers to remove me from the area for good. But shortly after I returned to base, I got distracted by a shiny airdrop off to the south. Um, can't see anyone yet. Someone get a care package? Guess they must have. The one behind that rock as well. Yeah, someone definitely snagged the care package. Yeah, that guy hit me with a headshot, like, almost instantly. At the time, I was surprised that my neighbours hadn't gone for the airdrop, and in hindsight, I hadn't heard much from them for the last half hour or so. And soon after, I'd realise why. Time to go. Man, there's like, there's more of them. There are so many of them, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. There's so many of them. Man, should I just send it and try to raid them? Like I just send it. Crap like six rockets. Just try and get out with an invent. Fuck it man, let's do it. Oh man, I'm nervous. Yeah, alright, it's like going morning. It's kinda of perfect. Should be able to get over there in the dark and then it'll be daytime. So I'm just gonna splash like towards the back. It's 
multiple. Fuck man, let's just send it. <laughs> it was never going to pay off, but uh, at least I got to shoot most of the rockets. I mean, like, if I really wanted to try and win that raid, I should have just waited for them to leave. Probably would have been the smart thing to do. The raid was a flop, but it was always going to be a long shot solo against such a big group. After that, I logged off for a few hours, and when I logged back in briefly, their China wall was almost complete. Safe to say, I wasn't going to get the chance to raid them again, so I turned my attention to being a pest and seeing if I could bait an online raid. But it never came, so after a few more hours of waiting, I headed to bed for the night. Probably like a 95% chance that I've been raided <laughs> after what I did to that group yesterday. I'm pretty much just jumping in to check the damage. Are you kidding me? What? Unrated. How am I alive? What? I was like not planning on playing today because I assumed that <laughs> I assumed that we'd be toast. If I can get in again and like yoink some furnace loot, I'll be happy. Could be a floor in their building design somewhere. Yep, there it is. gonna be in a bit of trouble you had one job man stop grubs from stealing all the metal round two baby feel like alone in tokyo right now Yeah. 
Yeah, this is going to cost a lot to get in. So that's a loot room right there, that armoured wall. Because if we go through doors, it's going to be nine. There's a garage door here, here, here. Might even be armoured doors. All these squares are loot rooms. And I feel like surely the... Surely this one at the back is going to be TC, right? <laughs> Fuck, man. If I can make 15 rockets, I'm just going to send it. But I think essentially I'm going to have to put, like, put metal in, uh, put sulfur in the large furnaces, which is something I don't usually like doing. But if I'm going to try try and pull off this little heist, like, I say little heist, but like 15 rockets, that's that's a lot of rockets for me. But if, I, if I'm going to try and pull that off, it has to be soon, because as soon as they get back online, there's just too many of them. So yeah, let's get a move on, man. Let's get some, uh, get some sulfur cooking. For such a big base with so many players, to have the chance of hitting one of their main loot rooms or even TC through a single armoured wall was definitely worth a shot. So I collected all the sulphur and charcoal that was scattered throughout my boxes and got to smelt it. I need pipes. I need pipes and high quality cloth. Oh man. <laughs> perfect. High quality, perfect. Damn, this run is going so well. Sewing kits, beautiful. Ooh, do I just see four? 8C4 might be a better option. Mm. I didn't even thought about that. That'd be a lot easier. Because if I'm if I stay there for 15 rockets, if there's anyone online, it's gonna be like impossible. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna C4 it. That way I can like do a quick little loot and scoot. Let's do it. Fuck. Now I'm gonna run because if there's someone sitting at my door, like door camping me, and I try and take the horse out and I get DB'd in the face, I might break something. I think that light was on before though. Oh no, I just saw someone like going back to the base. Yes. Let's do the ladders. Don't know why I'm whispering. I'm just going to go this wall, I think.
get out of you, man. Dude, they are offline, offline. I don't know how, I don't think that's proper, but that's a lot of sulfur back. Was in the room? I thought it might have been TC room. But TC is probably off to the side, I guess, in like a triangle. Second thoughts. We could potentially just like try again. Keep going. I mean, we got the boom now. I had scored a decent amount of sulfur and metal frags and was about ready to call it for this wipe but I'd noticed a huge flaw in the Zerg base's design, and some of you might have noticed it also. The top ramp in the loot room had only been upgraded to stone, meaning that I could use rockets to splash both the garage door and the stone, and get into their core with only four more rockets than what I'd already spent. I had to give it a go, but this time, I wouldn't be alone. rockets left. TC is unlocked, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> God damn, I shouldn't have fragged, dude. I shouldn't have used the frag, I should have fought him. In hindsight, I played this pretty poorly, but not expecting to get all the way to TC, I was put on the spot and made a few crucial errors that lost me the raid. But I still had one small win up my sleeve. 
psychology in a different way to live at it all Cause my perspective is broken But suffering's a way to earn your No, I don't have building proof anymore. No way, man. I fucked up. Ah, oh, it's so hard not to fuck up in those situations. Like, I wanted to seal so they couldn't get back in from the outside, but I should have sealed the TC first. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was fun. That was fun anyway. Not believe he let me kill him with a jackhammer. Like, what the fuck? This was the end of the wipe for me, but I wanted to go over and talk to this team that I'd been fighting for the entire wipe. Like, I'm, I'm pretty much done with this wipe. So, uh, I don't want to ruin the experience for these guys. I mean, they could just raid through that door, but I'll be a good bloke and go take it off for him. It's fine to to have like a rivalry but you don't want to be like you don't want to be a douchebag you know hey so serious serious question serious question how many of you are there uh there's like there's like five of us i think so there you go man man i was calling it too because i i was bloody i saw your base and it looks like the et base <laughs> Enjoy the wipe. Sorry about the TC, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. But yeah, it, you know, it's been fun, like, PvPing you guys. Even though I've been getting destroyed most of the time. It's still been a good time. Who's doing the honours? Someone's gonna put me out of my misery.